the giant aircraft carrier Forrestal, with a specially angled deck for simultaneous launchings and landings, takes on her first planes during air trials off the Virginia coast. Pilot Harnish is congratulated by Captain Johnson, skipper of the world's biggest warship. A second single-seater Fury jet fighter sets down on the flat top, and Pilot Werner also gets a handshake. Thanks to powerful steam-operated catapults, only a fraction of the Forrestal's quarter-mile-long deck is necessary for takeoffs. The $200 million Forrestal, mightiest carrier ever built, spearheads America's defenses on and over the sea. Off the California coast, Navy frogmen sharpen their underwater punch, dragging demolition bags a two-man team swims into position to blast a mythical enemy. After the charges have been set, the frogmen are retrieved by the pickup boats. Mission accomplished. At Portsmouth, New Hampshire, crewmen board the USS Albacore, fastest submarine ever built. Radically different in design, the underwater craft carries 49 officers and men. Two-thirds the length of a football field, she uses airplane-type controls in steering, diving, and surfacing. Faster than many ocean liners, the secret of the Albacore's speed lies in her revolutionary blimp-like shape, which reduces water friction to a minimum. The first submarine designed to operate underwater most of the time her rounded hull gives best performance in the depths. She is also the most maneuverable sub ever built, fast enough to outrace destroyers, and she can dive and rise with porpoise-like swiftness. Air-conditioned living quarters are the height of luxury for a submarine, and new designs don't change sailors' appetites. The sensitive trigger-like controls enable her operators to direct the 1,200-ton underwater craft with the sureness of a fighter pilot. Already, plans are being made for an atomic submarine modeled after the Albacore, forerunner of tomorrow's underseas Navy.